So I'm going to talk about three, three relationship killers. Number one, fear. Why is fear a relationship killer? Because the Bible says that love casts out fear, but fear casts out love. You can't have fear and love in the same room, so to speak. Fear causes people to get into controlling behavior. So you may feel like you're nurturing someone, but if it's done out of fear, you're going to end up controlling, manipulating, and and be, be getting into place of suspicion, uh, accusation. Um, your mind's just going to go crazy trying to war. It turns into a war up here. And, and now you start to display all this negative behavior towards the other person. Okay. The second relationship killer is pride. Why is pride a relationship killer? Because when you're prideful, you can't see your faults. So now it's, you start blame shifting. You start um, not taking responsibility for what you're doing. You're basically not seeing anything that you're doing wrong because pride blinds your eyes so you can't see anything that you're doing wrong and then you're not changing it so if you don't change anything that you're doing you're you're going to destroy your relationship pride also destroys our relationship with god as well not just marital relationships it just destroys every relationship you have because people are going to feel like they can't tell you anything you can't hear people you can't hear what people are telling you you're just thinking that you know everything and you're right and everybody else is wrong and when you get into that place there's argument and pride is the root of every sin basically pretty much and it, it will it will just destroy your relationship to destroy it because now God can't even talk to you and convict you of anything because you think you're okay um, relationship killer number three is lust lust is going to destroy your relationship why because lust is selfish because lust is about you getting pleasure at the expense of someone else and it often you getting pleasure at the expense of your marriage where now your heart is not faithful to your spouse you're always thinking about something or somebody else um, lust is a relationship killer. You, if you have any of these three things in your relationship, fear, pride, or lust, you need to first of all humble yourself because humility destroys the power of sin in our life. Humility and surrender to God well, we need to bring these things before his throne room and ask him to help us see what is true. One good prayer that I've prayed before is this, Holy Spirit, show me what is true. Because the moment you admit to your shortcomings and you start working on them, then God can step in with his grace and help you overcome these areas in your relationships but it starts with humility without humility without admitting we're wrong God cannot work in our life so that my friends is my relationship advice